Well, Dr. Peterson, can you tell us why are we so related to stories so that we love to see and talking about them? We view the world essentially through a narrative lens and I believe that we view the world through a narrative lens because the fundamental problem that we have to solve as living creatures is how we should act in the world. And that means how we should act to maintain ourselves, but also how we need to act in relationship to other people and in relationship to the broader world in order to maintain ourselves across time. So that's a complicated problem, right? It's not just how you survive, it's how you survive now, and next week, and next month, and next year, and 50 years from now, and maybe your, your, uh, your descendants as well, if the culture is going to stabilize. And then not only you across all those time frames, but you and everyone else across all those time frames. It's a viciously difficult problem. What they are means? We have stories that are very, 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 very old. Those are usually religious stories of one form or another, but they can be fairy tales. Because fairy tales, some people have traced fairy tales back, you know, more than 10,000 years. And so they're part of an oral tradition. And oral traditions can last for tens of thousands of years. And, you know, it's a story that's been told for 10,000 years is a funny kind of story. It's like people have remembered it and, and obviously modified it. It's like a game of telephone, you know, where I tell you something and you whisper it to the person next to you and so on. It's like a game of telephone that's gone on for, you know, a thousand generations and all that's left is what people remember. And maybe they remember what's important because you tend to remember what's important. And it isn't necessarily the case that you know what the hell it means. You don't know what music means, but, you know, that doesn't stop you from listening to it. You don't know, generally speaking, what a movie that you see or a book that you read means, not if it's profound. It means more than you can understand, because otherwise, why read it? Well, so the idea is this, is that we're necessarily nested inside moral systems. The moral systems are predicated on narratives, narrative dramas of sorts. And the moral systems are what orient us in life, and the reason to understand them, to the degree that you can, is because you need to know how to live.